The City of San Francisco, California, released in December 2022, its Transportation Plan for 2050. A decennial update of the city's transportation plan, the SFTP 2050, outlines investments and policy initiatives guiding all transportation modes, networks, and operators in the city of San Francisco for the next 30 years. Situated in the heart of the Bay Area in Northern California, the city of San Francisco has a population of 875,000, of which two-thirds are people of color and 10% live under the poverty threshold. With an expected population growth of 45% by 2050, the city's transportation network faces increasing pressures, as San Francisco already generates more than 4.5 million weekday trips, despite the fact that 32% of those trips are made by walking and 21% are made by public transit. In this context, the SFTP 2050 is anchored in five goals aiming at achieving greater equity, environmental sustainability, accountability and engagement, economic vitality, and safety and livability. Investments and policies outlined in the plan specifically aim to address some of San Francisco's most pressing challenges, such as the maintenance and rehabilitation of transportation infrastructure, transit reliability and the expansion of service back to pre-pandemic levels, personal security on the city's streets and on transit, long-standing inequities and harm suffered by vulnerable communities. The plan is also aligned with San Francisco's Climate Action Plan, which aims to reduce car trips in San Francisco to 20% by 2030, considering that more than half of inner-city car trips are under 2 miles in length. With a total budget of $95 billion, the plan proposes flagship transit projects like the expansion of service of the Muni Metro and BART rail systems, a new ferry landing in Mission Bay with an estimated daily capacity of 6,000 passengers, and downtown rail extensions. Additionally, the plan aims to introduce traffic safety improvement through the expansion of its Safe Routes to School program and by targeting areas where freeway on and off ramps intersect with local neighborhood roads. Travel demand management mechanisms such as carpool lanes, express bus lanes, and a congestion pricing scheme are also included. Because San Francisco strives to be an inclusive, diverse, and equitable city, the SFTP 2050 puts a large emphasis on reducing barriers and increasing access for low-income and vulnerable residents across all modes. It highlights that walking, biking, and transit reliability initiatives are important ways to address socioeconomic and geographic disparities. The plan dedicates funding to a new equity planning program to support community-based transportation projects in San Francisco's equity priority communities. These investments create a pipeline of grant-ready projects across the city, reflecting community priorities with the hopes to address past displacement, prevent future displacement, and mitigate the negative impacts of major streets and freeways like poor air quality and traffic safety. To conclude, although land use is mentioned in the SFTP 2050, it does not seem to be a priority for the plan. San Francisco is indeed already the second most densely populated city in the United States, and 60% of inner city trips are made by walking or transit. With that in mind, the SFTP 2050 does acknowledge the need to densify previously existing low-density neighborhoods and to adapt to shifting employment locations away from downtown. Nonetheless, it delegates the responsibility of developing land use and transportation policies to the Bay Area's Long Range Transportation Plan, Plan Bay Area 2050, in which land use is the central theme for the planned $1.4 trillion investments.